Hello, my name is Kevin Schusler. I'm Assembly Manager, Technical Assistance for Command Light. Um, this is another one of our series of videos on how to deal with different issues that may arise with your light tower. Uh, the model we're working on today is our Shadow RTB. Um, it's a smaller unit than our command light or our night light. It's only on a single stage actuator. It still does uh, compass 350 degree rotation, uh, both right and left of center, and also the panning of the back lights back to 180 degrees. What we're going to show you today, we incorporate in all of our light towers what we call a safety limit. And basically what it is, uh, in the rear of the tube here, there is a mercury switch. And uh, what that does is by adjusting the pitch of the mercury switch, we will prevent lights or uh, rotation from happening until it reaches a, a set height. It will also not let the light come down unless it is picking up that the back lights are flushed uh, with the, the top two. Also that the rotation blocks, the two halves of the rotating uh, portion there are, uh, are lined up again. That's uh, indicated by the green light there for center. So as it sweeps center, you will get that green indicator light. Below where that mercury switch is set, uh, it will not let it go any further than that if you do not have that center. Um, if for some reason uh, you would lose center on one of these, um, what you could do if a sensor went out or the switch broke or whatever, uh, by deactivating this, you can get your light tower to come down, uh, but you basically have to do yourself what that safeguard would prevent. You have to visually line this thing up because it, uh, once you deactivate this, it will come down. Uh, the worst case scenario on these towers is what we call a, uh, a tomahawk, which would be this rotated at a 45 degree angle. Um, a good way to tell on a, on a shadow is the lights will go out too when it reaches that, that mercury switch positioning. That's also how you will set it. So as this is coming down, this is what we would call our tomahawk right here. Um, if that safety mercury switch was not preventing it, it would drive those lamps right in. This is a 1500 pound actuator, uh, not much of a battle here. This one will definitely win. The lamps will uh, get broken off. That's the reason for the safety limit in there. Um, so that's also how you would go ahead and, and adjust it. Um, out here, you will see it, it's just hooked into a little loom clamp here. It's got a 7 16 wrench on it. And again, the best way to, uh, to adjust this would be by just turning on a bank of lamps. So I'll bring it up just a little bit. And once I got my lamps on, I will know exactly where this mercury switch is in uh, proportion to where the, the tower is. So by rotating this, either down or up, and a wrench is sometimes better than this for, uh, for setting it. But uh, just by turning that outer bolt and pivoting the mercury switch, uh, you can tell right where that mercury switch is. So this one will not go down any further from that point. At this point here, it will continue to go down. So your lights are your indicator of that. Uh, this one would do a, a tomahawk now if I continue to, to lower it down. So if you get one and you would lose that center sensor, all you would go ahead and do is just to, uh, to, to pivot that up enough where, um, where your, your safety limit is de or activated, and then you can just visually line it up. And if that switch was broken right now, you would not have your green light, but uh, it would not be reaching that point on it. And you would just adjust that where the lights would stay on all the way down and then turn off your lights. That could get you back. So to, uh, to initially set one of these, what we do is we just set it up in that tomahawk position again with a pair of the lamps on. If these are blinding you, you can also pivot the back lights a little bit so uh, they aren't getting you. Uh, bring that down just a couple of inches before it would hit the top of the truck. And then you will go ahead and adjust your switch. There is a nut on the inside too, if you wanted to loosen it, it would let this pivot a lot easier. And at that point right there, uh, you've got your safety limit set. Up above there, lights will come on, you'll be able to rotate. Below there, lights go out, no rotation, and you can't lower it down any further to hit that. Uh, if you do loosen that, make sure you tighten that up again. Um, and if you ever get a tower that you raise up and you can't ever get your lights to come on, first thing to check is to see if you have your rotation on there. If you don't have lights or rotation, 
Good bet. Uh, there's something going on with this Mercury switch. Either somebody's inadvertently messed with it and uh, knocked it out of its initial set, uh, adjustment, or the, the switch may have actually gone bad, which is a very rare thing. Very simple switch. This Mercury uh, is working on a, an elevated plane as, it, uh, as the switch raises up and brings, the Mercury will come down and make and break contact on the two leads coming out of that. Just looks like a little black firecracker in the back of here. Uh, we do uh, incorporate these on all of the light towers. So the principle is the same for uh, the night light, the shadow, the command light. Uh, the safety limit is to prevent the light from hitting itself or uh, hitting the, the top of the truck. Um, also to, to make sure that everything's centered up so the lights can come down on, top, on themselves without doing any damage to themselves. I want to thank you for your time and watching these videos. Um, if you have further questions or there's something wasn't covered in here, uh, please contact us uh, via our website, phone number, um, or uh, email. Uh, also, if there's a video on here, something that you've run into that we haven't covered yet, uh, we're kind of guessing uh, what uh, we've heard from other customers that have poss been possible issues with our light towers. But if there's something you don't see, please send an email and we'll be happy to uh, get an hour on the table and we will shoot you a video of how to deal with the issues. Thank you.